Question 3 says a gas expands from I to F along the three paths indicated in the figure below. Calculate the work done on the gas along each of the following paths. A. Along path IAF. B. Along path IF. And C. Along path IBF. So allow me to try to explain what's happening. In the, in the first case, we have a uh, gas um, it's increasing in volume, but its pressure is constant until it reaches the volume of 4 liters. So from 2 liters to 4 liters, this gas expands under constant pressure. Once it gets to 4 liters, the volume stays constant, but the pressure is decreased. So some of the pressure is taken away, but the volume remains constant. Then, uh, in the second case, there is a pressure of 4 and a volume of 2, and the pressure and the volume are both increased evenly at the same time, so that the pressure or the pressure is decreased evenly as the volume is increased evenly at the same time. So the pressure drops 3 units, and the volume increases by 2 units. The pressure drops by 3 atmospheres, the volume increases by 3 liters. And in the third case, the pressure is decreased while the volume remains constant and then the volume is expanded. So the first thing we need to do is figure out exactly uh, what the area under each of these graphs is. So because the work done on a gas is equal to the negative uh, pressure times the, times the change of volume when the pressure is constant, but when the pressure is not constant the work is equal to the negative area under the PV diagram. So the negative of the area. So what is the area under, so if we talk about from IAF, what is the area under this? Well, it includes, the area under that includes um, not only this portion right here, but it also includes all the way down to the base. And so for part A, and, and why we say what, what does this change in pressure do? The change in pressure actually doesn't do anything to the work. It does something to the internal energy because the volume doesn't change. And to kind of explain that, the work, the, the, um, the fundamental definition of work is force times distance or force times change of x. If, the, if we have a piston right here, and let, let me redraw that, so scratch that out. If we have this piston and it has this, this uh, you know, it's got a surface area and it's got a weight on it, if, if that weight is taken off, then the pressure has changed. But if at the same time the volume doesn't also change, then this thing doesn't move. So there is no change of x when the volume doesn't change. So when we come to situations like a straight line going down on a PV diagram, all that means is that that's the outer boundary. It, it, and it would be the same, the same, we'd get the same answer if the volume, or if the pressure didn't change. We would get the same answer for work. We would get a different answer for the, the internal energy. So a change in pressure without a change in volume only affects the internal energy. So that's the point I'm trying to make. So the, the part uh, where we have A or I A F, we're going to do the pressure from here to here, or the volume from here to here times the pressure from here to here. So pressure times volume because the uh, the pressure is constant, and it's constant all the way up until it doesn't matter anymore. But then you might wonder, well, what about from from I to F? Well, from I to F, you have you have um, you have to this area right here under this triangle, but you also have this area down here that is area under the curve. And so you have to include that with your area under this triangle. So it would be it would be the volume times it would be the the volume uh, the change in volume times the times the change in pressure divided by two. So let's write that down. So the, the change in volume times the change in pressure divided by two, we would have to add to that, we would have to add to that the, the change in volume multiplied by the final pressure. So uh, the change in volume times the final pressure. 
And so we would add that to together and we would get the work because that's the area under the under the uh, the curve. And just as a side note, if you've never worked with um, if you've never heard the term curve before, and I hadn't before I'd taken a few biology classes, it's called a, it's a straight line. It's a straight line, but it's always called a curve. I don't know why somebody uh, 150 years ago probably just decided that's what they wanted to call it, but it's even the straight lines are called curves in these kind of situations. Now, in the last situation, we, had, we went from I to B to F, and so you notice from I to B there is no change of volume. And again, if if work the input the the main formula for work is force times times the distance or the change of x, when the volume doesn't change, there is no change of distance. And so whenever the volume doesn't change, there is no work being done. And so the work is from here to here, the area under this curve. And so you take the final pressure times the change of volume. So we can write that down, work is equal, and of, of course it's always the negative, so it's negative of the final pressure times the change of volume. And now we have three different formulas for three different um, changes of pressure and volume, and the one, last thing we need to do before we plug in the numbers is we need to get this to where uh, we want our answer in joules, so we don't want it in um, atmosphere, liters, um, moles, kelvin. We want it in joules. So in order to do that, we need to convert this, the pressure to pascals. We need to convert the liters to cubic meters. And we don't actually need to do it on here. Uh, we could go ahead and find the change of volume. We can find the absolute pressure. And then we could, or we could find the changes of pressure. And then we could uh, do the conversions on those changes. So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way, and um, we'll s just keep it to where we can see our, what we're doing. So on, on the first, um, on the first uh, curve, we went from, we, we said that it was equal to, to all of this right here. So the, the pressure, the initial pressure times the change in volume. So the initial pressure was equal to 4. The change in volume was four minus two, so the change in volume was two liters. The initial pressure was four atmospheres. Now there are um, 101,325 pascals per atmosphere, and so you can just multiply to get uh, the pressure converted, and so the pressure will equal 405,300 pascals. And then the, the change in volume, um, we know that there are approximate there are 0 0.001 liter or meters cubic meters per per liter. So we, the liters will end up canceling out, and we would get that the change in volume is 0 0.002 cubic meters. So then we know that for our first our first um, curve the work is equal to the negative pressure times the change in volume, so that's equal to four, negative 405,300 times 0 0.002 meters cubed, and so the, the work is equal to um, negative 810.6 joules. Okay, so now we're going to look for, for uh, this uh, curve right here from I to F, and so we want to measure all of the area under it from all the way to the the bottom here and up here and then over and so let me move this up out of the way to where we can still see what we're doing we said that the work is equal to the negative of of the base times the height so we want the base here times the height so it's the change in volume the change in volume times the change in pressure times the change in pressure over divided by two and of course, because we're doing the negative area, we also want to subtract off this area right here. So it's the change in volume times the final pressure, change in volume times the final pressure. And so we just need to convert everything. So, but actually, before we convert, let me explain something. The change in pressure, um, because it's a negative number, we're going to use the absolute value of the change of pressure. And the reason for that is because we're not doing um, the negative area under the... We're doing the negative area under the curve, but we've already put our negative sign on there, 
And so what we could do is we, we could, so the, the height of this, of this thing is not a negative number. So base times height. And since we're doing the area under the curve, um, we need to do the negative of the change of pressure because the change of pressure is negative. And so by saying the absolute value of the change of pressure, and I'm not sure how the book wants us to do this honestly, um, you could just knock off this negative sign and do change of pressure, and that would work as well. Because in both ways you're going to get the area under the curve. So with that said, the absolute value of the change of pressure is equal to, so we have 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 uh, atmospheres. And so uh, to convert that to... Um, Pascals, it's 101,325 pascals per atmosphere, and so we would get um, we would get 303 point uh, 303,975 pascals for. Uh, right here, and then for our change of volume, we would get um, two liters to four. So four minus two is going to be two liters, and that was going to be equal to zero point zero zero two meters cubed. And then for our final pressure, our final pressure is one atmosphere, and so for every atmosphere, it's equal to one hundred and one thousand three hundred and twenty-five pascals. So when you when you plug all your numbers into the equation, you should get that the work is e the work done on the gas is equal to negative five zero six point six two five. The unit is joules. And since we have all of our all of our conversions here, um, remember the last section we just needed we want to do IBF, and since from I to B the volume changes zero, the work being done is on this portion alone, and so we would do the final pressure times the change in volume, the negative of that would be, um, so we would do the work is equal to negative of the final pressure times the change of volume, and so we have the final pressure here, we have the change of volume right here, and so the, the work should be equal to negative 202.65 joules.